Half of 2023 is gone and as expectedly there have been many good horror films already this year. Here I came up with a list of the 6 best horror films that got their theatrical release in 2023 and have already been streaming online. So be sure to check them out because they do have got the chill. We have to finish the movie. Who gives a fuck about movies? Bo is Afraid Bo is Afraid is a bizarre, cinematography New Yorkish horror film that tells the disturbing story of an anxiety-ridden old man's journey back home after his mother dies. He witnesses all kinds of unearthly stuff represented as his deepest fears on his terrifying journey. Joaquin Phoenix's performance is as good as always. The direction of Ari Aster is also praiseworthy, who has previously given such bone-chilling experiences like in Hereditary or Midsommar. Although Bo is afraid is not that scary and rather sometimes funny, it still is very unsettling. Bo! Dad! Run! No! More than a horror film, it is a representation of anxiety, depression, and childhood traumas that cannot be enjoyed by many, but I mostly did so. Please, I, I really can't do this. I just saw something very confusing and I just need to get home. Cocaine Bear Cocaine Bear, as the claim is based on a true story, tells the story of a bear going insane after unintentionally digesting cocaine. And since then, the bear goes on to kill any people that comes in sight. The bear even goes out of the forest and emerges on their cleaning spree. This is a comedy film but the gore and the violence are too horrible and often scary. The performances or the writing are not that noteworthy but what works here is the fun that it's actually based on a true story and mostly because of that ambulance scenes. I mean really, that is hilarious. Evil Dead Rise Evil Dead Rise is a 96 minutes well-paced intense horror journey that is easily one of the fascinating ones from this year. It tells the story of three siblings where one of them discovers an ancient vinyl and plays it at home which brings some bloodthirsty monsters that possesses their mother. It's in me. Since they have their aunt who arrived recently in their apartment, she helps them survive amongst all the odds. However, things only get worse. As with every other Evil Dead movie, this too is filled with gore and violence but still manages to be a hilariously intense film. Influencer Influencer tells the story of a social media influencer who comes across an interesting woman on her solo trip to Thailand who seems very friendly. I'm going for a walk if you want to come. Sure. However, as it goes on, the suspicion only grows, she's not very nice after all and her intentions are rather far from just being friends. But I am going to leave you here. Or she'll wake up alone. You'll realize I'm gone. Above anything, this film has a great pace. It is very much watchable and also contains the chill a horror film should have. The visuals are very good. The score, although may seem very typical, but is one of the most vital parts of the movie. The appearance of Cassandra not as a beautiful yet creepy woman is the power of the film. The way the events take turn, it becomes something like Get Out, and at last, the ending is so promising and entertaining. Infinity Pool For fans of absurdist horror films, Infinity Pool is a treat. It's the story of a couple on a vacation in a country that has some abnormal way of punishing its criminals. They come to know about it when they accidentally hit a man in the street 
and get arrested the following day. And when the face punishments that they can comprehend in any way, their life changes. Alexander Skarsgård's performance is praiseworthy, and what's even better is that this film is a visual treat, a ravishing tale of bizarre insanity. A lot of it may feel like an exaggeration, yet everything about it is so unique, it can be denied. And overall, getting past the long runtime and a bit of overwriting, I truly enjoyed this weird stuff and need some more of this. Knock at the Cabin. M. Night Shyamalan's A Knock at the Cabin is one hell of a journey shot and presented in a near perfect way. It tells the story of a couple on a vacation with their little daughter whose life changes when they meet with four armed people in the doorway. Is there something we can help you with? There is. Why don't you open the door? It'll be easier if we speak face to face. They break into the house, tie them up and tell them that they have to make a sacrifice to prevent an upcoming apocalypse. Ultimately, whether the world ends or not, it's completely up to you three. As weird as the story sounds, the build-up of this movie is amazing. The performances are also noteworthy, resulting in it being so watchable. The pace is also perfect. If anything, there is to criticize the writing, which sometimes feels very childish, but overall, Knock at the Cabin is one of the finest horror films from this year so far, which is as noteworthy as it is interesting. Ah! 